I came from a musical family in so much as I had a big diet of music. I was a drummer first. I played the drums when I was nine. Borrowed the guy's drum kit and then he moved house and I ended up keeping it. Right. I don't know what happened. <laughs> he came around one day and he showed me a couple of things on the piano and then it sort of took me in really. I was hooked. The family was, was really into the whole Trojan reggae thing. Dennis Brown, Pete Tosh, Bob Marley and uh, Gregory Isaacs. I used to listen to all the, all the, all the old school stuff. The friend that I used to listen to a lot in school yeah. was I was fascinated I thought he could play anything yeah. so I would just watch his fingers see what he was doing I didn't know what the chords were I didn't yeah. know what I was playing I just used to try and copy him I didn't even I didn't even attempt to try and play like them I just wanted to play something that was simple that I thought I could grasp yeah and I could get away with playing in a school band <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. there's no way I could sit there just playing like that. I was, wasn't into all that stuff when I was yeah. a kid I was just I, I loved it but I couldn't do it I was more yeah. into It's got a bit. Yeah. Well, welcome to my world. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so. <laughs> the important thing is not to play bass on the keys like a keyboard player would play bass. So the thing I'm always conscious of is trying to keep it sounding like a bass player would play as much yeah. as possible. Um, and a lot of that is, is simplifying it. You know, a lot of people think, oh, if you're going to put a bass sound there, you should do all this kind of flowery stuff. It's, it's not really about that. Um, just holding the groove down and letting this hand do it, and if you're singing, obviously getting out of the way, you know. enjoy the writing production side because that's my background really I love coming from that I love I love always sitting back and thinking of ideas as much as I love performing um, so I suppose really uh, realistically Brother Strut obviously I want to continue performing in that cracking band thank goodness for that thank goodness for that as long as they'll have me of yeah. course I'll say no <laughs> the guy with the cameras behind I think but no I, but think as much as I enjoy that on stage as much as I live in the now for that moment as much as I really enjoy engaging with the audience and like I say, Brother Strut really brings that for me. But, for, you know, there's other sides to Brother Strut for me. There's other sides to all the other projects I'm involved with. And that is the writing and the production, which is where I'm at. It's where I'm from. And that's, and that's always going to be something I'm happy to go back to. Whether, 